Welcome back to the final leg. So indoor season is over. Didn't end on a great note. We were supposed to have NCAAs and world championships, but I want to go over the top five male and female athletes that we saw competing during this 2020 indoor season. I'm also going to give you guys some honorable mentions, but let's jump into that top five. First off on the men's side, this was hard to decide, but going to go with Christian Coleman and Ronnie Baker kind of as a package deal. Christian Coleman. So he only competed at one competition this year, the USA indoor championships in that 60 meter dash he managed to run the heat semis and the finals in the heats he ran 6.48 seconds really relaxed in the semis he ran 6.51 seconds and then in the finals he dropped a world leading performance of 6.37 seconds again world leading performance equal number two performance in history only behind his world record of 6.34 set back in 2018 and then again ronnie baker also in that 60 meters he was extremely consistent competed in four competitions seven races including heats and finals he got out to a best number two in the world of 6.44 seconds really significant because he ran it on two occasions during this season so really great consistency great performances during the season in five out of seven races this season he had run 6.50 seconds or faster throughout the entire season so great consistency again first off number five Christian Coleman and Ronnie Baker coupling it out there moving up to number four I have Donovan Brazier from the United States in that men's 800 meters he showed great consistency only competed twice but he went undefeated in those two races at the 600 meters at the Boston Indoor Games he managed to run a best of 1 minute 14.39 seconds which is the number two performance in history only behind his own world record then in the 800 meters at those Milrose Games he got out to a best of 144.21 seconds a world leading performance an American national record for him and also makes him number five all time in the 800 meters so really showing some great racing tactics in that 800 meters dominating the field definitely keep a lookout for him through the outdoor season he's my number four getting up to number three I have Hughes Fabrice Zango from Burkina Faso in that men's triple jump a little bit under the radar he's a bronze medalist from Doha last year this year in the indoor season he went four for four in all of his competitions undefeated and he had the top four triple jumps in the world this year so really great consistency dominating the event the world leading performance of 17.77 meters is a personal best and African continental record and made him number four all time in the triple jump. So Hughes for Zango really dominating this 2020 indoor season. My number three indoors. Getting up to my number two, I have Ryan Krauser in that men's shot put from the United States. He only competed twice this indoor season, but both of those times he won both his competitions and he was really significant. 22.19 meters was his first throw, but then he came at the USA Championships, managed to get out to a huge personal best of 22.60 meters. Not only a personal best but that also moved him to number two all time in the indoor shot put only six centimeters away from the world indoor record so really dominant performance definitely settled in as my number two now my number one I think you guys can all guess it's Mondo Duplantis from Sweden in that men's pole vault absolutely dominated this indoor season he went five for five in his competitions undefeated and in five consecutive competitions he had he went six meters or higher in the pole vault that's the first time that's been done in the history of the men's pole vault. In addition, he had two consecutive world records in the event, 6.17 meters in Torin, and then he improved to 6.18 meters at the Glasgow Indoor Meet, absolutely dominating the performances. He also had a performance of 6.07 meters, which is the 12th highest indoor jump in the pole vault in history. And five of the six best jumps in the world for 2020, Manu Duplantis, absolutely amazing indoor season, one of the best indoor seasons for any male athlete in any event in history. So great performance my number one indoor athlete now before i get to the women's top five i want to give you guys a couple of honorable mentions first off i have kenny harrison from the united states in that women's 60 meter hurdles very dominant there also marina beck romanchuk from ukraine she really was super consistent when undefeated in the women's long jump then we also have eleanor purrier of course she won that amazing women's mile going number two in the history of the mile also getting the two mile at the boston indoor games from the united states grant holloway from the u.s as well the 60 meter hurdles he absolutely dominated running almost his personal best 7.38 seconds in that 60 meter hurdles finally Sam Kendricks in that men's pole vault from the U.S. went a little bit under the radar only because of Mondo Duplantis's dominance but Sam Kendricks really had a very consistent season and put down some great marks so those are my honorable mentions for the 2020 indoor season now getting into the women's top five first off at number five I have Constance Klosterhofen from Germany super consistent and dominant through this indoor season out of three races this year she only 
won one race, but she was a world leader at the 5,000 meters, the 1,500 meters, and was the number two in the world at the one mile race. In the 5,000, she ran a best of 14 minutes, 30.79 seconds, which moved her to number four all time in the indoor 5K. The 1,500 meters, she ran three minutes, 59.87 seconds, which moved her to number six all time in the 1,500. And then again, number two in the world in the mile actually moved her to number four all time with her four minutes, 17.26 seconds. So Constance Klosterhofer from Germany, my number five on the women's side. Jumping up to number four, I have Maria Lasiskene from Russia. She's been super consistent in the women's high jump over the past couple years. This indoor season was no different. Won three of three competitions that she went into, had the top two jumps in the world for the high jump, and three of the top six jumps in the world for this indoor 2020 season. She was a world leader at 2.05 meters, which made her equal number six all time in the women's high jump. Also had a jump of 2.04 meters. So very consistent, continuing her dominance in the women's high jump my number four Maria Lasiskene getting into my top three I have Gemma Riki at number three from Great Britain in the women's mid distance she was one of the breakout athletes of this indoor season she won three out of the four races she contested two at 800 meters one at the 1500 meters and then got a third place in the women's mile this year at the 800 meters that was really the breakout race for her she got the world lead of one minute 57.91 seconds moved her to number 11 all time in the 800 meters one of the fastest races in a long time in a couple years 1500 meters she had the world number four at four minutes and 52 seconds great performance there then at the one mile she had the world number three at four minutes 17.88 seconds moved her to number five all time in the women's mile so Gemma Riki coming in at my number three for the women getting into the final two ladies first off at number two and Zelika Sidorova from Russia in that women's pole vault went undefeated winning four out of four competitions she had the top two jumps in the pole vault this year and she also had three of the top five jumps in the pole vault this year as well. The world leading performance of 4.95 meters made her equal number three all time in the women's pole vault. She had also jumped 4.92 meters, which is really high up on the all time list. So my number two, Anzelika Sidorova from Russia in that women's pole vault. Finally, my women's athlete of the year for the indoor 2020 season, Yulomar Rojas from Venezuela, dominated the indoor season out of three competitions. She won all three of them, two at the triple jump and one at the long jump actually. She had the top two jumps in the world in the triple jump, which were two competitions. She broke the world record in that indoor triple jump, 15.43 meters. Huge performance for her. She had also jumped 15.29 meters, which is the number three performance all time in the women's triple jump in one of the auxiliary jumps. So absolutely dominant indoor season, just like Manu Duplantis, Yulimar Rojas, my women athlete of the year. All right, so those are my picks for the top five male and female athletes of the year. Go in the comments below. Let me know who you guys had as your top athletes of the year let me know if i left anybody off or if you think an honorable mention should be in the top five let me know what you guys think in the comments make sure you guys like the video subscribe to the channel and I'll be back again for the next video thanks